His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace Iran's Foreign Minister Dr. Abbas Araqshi and his accompanying delegation. During the meeting, they discussed bilateral cooperation between the two countries, regional developments and efforts of de-escalation to reach peaceful solutions. The meeting was attended by the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of the Royal Court, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani. The National Security Advisor, Commander of the Royal Guard and Secretary General of the Supreme Defense Council, Lieutenant General Zainal Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met in the presence of Deputy National Security Advisor Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa and the CEO of the National Cyber Security Center Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa with a number of employees of the National Cyber Security Center. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts and achievements that enhanced Bahrain's position and achieved advanced levels in cybersecurity expressing aspirations that the center will continue developing during the next phase within the framework of the Supreme Defense Council. His Highness stressed that Bahrain has placed cybersecurity among the important priorities as it constitutes a key factor in relying on the security and prosperity established by His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, especially since the cybersecurity system is of great importance in light of the rapid digital developments at the regional and international levels. His Highness pointed out that the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, has taken many pioneering steps, including digital transformation initiatives, to prove that Bahrain has the expertise, capabilities and aspirations towards further prosperity to enhance the secure digital infrastructure according to the highest cyber standards and affirm the support enjoyed by the ICT sector and the digital economy at various levels. His Highness noted that importance of building capacity and enhancing cyber awareness, adding that it is a responsibility to preserve what Bahrain has reached through the constructive efforts of its citizens in terms of its cyber achievements. He wished the center and its employees continued success. For his part, the CEO of the center expressed thanks and gratitude to His Highness for his support of the center's efforts, stressing that the determination is always renewed to serve the kingdom and achieve the desired goals.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, met with the Iranian Foreign Minister, Dr. Abbas Araqshi, during his visit to Bahrain as part of a regional tour. The meeting discussed bilateral cooperation for the benefit of both countries, and views were exchanged on ways to de-escalate tensions in the region and maintain security and stability. The Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wael El Mbarak, in the presence of National Initiative for Agricultural Development, NIAD, Secretary General, Sheikh Maram bint Isa Al Khalifa, paid an inspection visit to Hurat Ali to view local agricultural production farms and infrastructure projects. The Minister was briefed on the progress of work in the farms at the beginning of the agricultural season and local production, noting that the Bahraini farmer produces various types and varieties of local plants, which enhances the contribution of the local agricultural sector to achieving self-sufficiency. He stressed that Hurat Ali has the capabilities to contribute to supporting the government's strategy towards achieving sustainable food security for Bahrain in light of the royal directives of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in addition to the continuous support of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, Chairperson of the Advisory Council of the National Initiative for Agricultural Development. Al Barak said that the ministry is working to develop basic facilities, services, and infrastructure in Hurat Ali in cooperation with the Ministry of Works and NIAD and provide appropriate factors for farmers. Sheikh Maram stressed the importance of Hurat Ali's project, which is a translation of the vision and directives of Her Royal Highness, appreciating the efforts made by the ministry in providing support services for the project and supporting local farmers. The Ministry of Social Development issued the statistics of social assistance from May until August of this year as part of the social assistance provided by the government to various groups. Members of the Representatives Council MP Iman Shwaitar and MP Hanan Ferdan participated in a conference to launch the Arab Parliamentary Women's Document held in Jordan. The delegation confirmed that their participation comes to enhance the pivotal and important role of Arab women in appreciation of their prestigious status and as a reflection of the integrated and comprehensive civilizational development witnessed by Bahrain with the support of His Majesty the King. The delegation noted that the parliamentary document for Arab women came in line with Bahrain's continuous follow-up by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, of women's issues and the interest that enabled Bahraini women to reach the highest political, parliamentary and other positions. The Parliamentary Assembly of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN granted Bahrain represented by the Parliamentary Division Delegation Observer Status at the 45th ASEAN General Assembly hosted by the National Assembly of the Lao People's Democratic Republic. The Parliamentary Division delegation participating in the meetings affirmed that granting Bahrain observer status to the ASEAN meetings is an advanced step that reflects the level of Bahraini parliamentary diplomacy and enhances the presence and participation of Parliamentary Division in foreign forums. The delegation also lauded the vital role of the Representative Council Speaker Ahmed Limsalem in achieving important parliamentary diplomatic accomplishments which contributed to the Kingdom's status on the international arena. The delegation also noted that that this achievement is a recognition of the Kingdom's acting role and active role in promoting international cooperation and its commitment to supporting constructive dialogue with regional and international organizations. 
In preparation for the international school games, the ISF Gymnasium hosted by Bahrain during October 23 to 31, the Ministry of Education and the Event Supreme Organizing Committee have taken all necessary steps to ensure the success of this global educational sports event. The Ministry of Education confirmed that classes will proceed as usual in all public and private schools throughout the event, as the opening ceremony will take place on the evening of Thursday, October 24 at Bahrain National Stadium, with all participating students from abroad attending. School dismissal times for government schools on that day will be adjusted. The National Space Science Agency, NSSA, joined the Space for Climate Observatory Charter during the 75th International Astronautical Congress held in Italy. The CEO of the NSSA, Dr. Mohamed Ibrahim al asiri explained that the charter primarily aims to coordinate international efforts in addressing climate change and achieving sustainable development goals by peacefully employing space technologies which provide high-precision, real-time data. These technologies support scientific centers with valuable information to tackle the challenges posed by climate change. The Institute of Readiness, uh, the Institute of Readings and Preparation of Quran teachers affiliated with the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs concluded the first session of its scientific program, Tafsir Councils, which was presented by His Eminence Sheikh Mohammed Al Shinqiti from Mauritania over the consecutive days at the Ahmed Al Fatah Islamic Center Mosque, with the participation of more than 400 male and female participants from students of Islamic law, sheikhs, and specialists. The first session of the program witnessed great interaction, which was reflected in the remarkable turnout and follow-up. A number of participants expressed their appreciation for those councils and their keenness to benefit from them, pointing out that they could contribute to, to activating the role of mosques and religious institutions in spreading Islamic knowledge, developing their scientific capabilities, disseminating benefits, and spreading awareness at the community level.